All right, I have been playing with Zorn OS, OS 6 Ultimate for a while now, and um, you know, so far it's looking pretty uh, stable to me, but let's go through this. There's a lot here, so let me go through this Ultimate Edition as quickly as possible. Of course, this has the blue background wallpaper here to make you feel as comfortable as possible if you are coming from a Windows 7 environment. These are the normal standard desktop icons here, except for the VBox editions. Right-clicking, of course, just like you would in Windows 7, for example, change desktop background. And you have different uh, choices of wallpaper here. As far as theme goes, I preferred or choose the uh, Radiance theme. You can click all settings, and this will give you something that is similar to the Windows 7, um, let's see, the Windows 7 control panel. All right, the bottom, you have what's called the Avant Window Navigator. This is a dock that is also customizable, but starting from the bottom right, you have the power button, user accounts, of course, the time and the date, and your mail and chat accounts, sound menu, sound settings, and it's nice also that the Rhythmbox music player is installed by default and has the sound menu options. Um, sound menu controls integrated into the sound settings, of course, by internet. The shortcuts here, the icons for rhythm box. The home folder. And I change, you can change how this looks. Uh, you can go to icons, list, and I usually prefer comp compact. Keep in mind there are other menus here, submenus, and also here preferences. And you can change how this looks. And I've shown I have shown you this before. All right, let me get out of that. And we have Google Chrome installed by default. I also enjoy using Firefox. If you noticed here, you can change how the start button looks. You can make it look like the Ubuntu logo if you so choose to because Zorn OS 6 is based on Ubuntu 12.04 and, and as such it is a five year, it has a five year long term support. All right, so, and by the way, as far as this goes, you can right click on this, go to preferences, and that's how you would change the look of the logo themes, preferences, and so on and so forth here. Let's get to the software. Left click as you would in Windows 7. Now this should look very familiar to you as if you were using Windows 7. And really, you know, really like I've said in the past, if you are using Windows 7 now, this is the one to try. It'll make you feel as comfortable as possible. It looks like Windows 7. It's not Windows 7. It's Linux, but, you know, if, you know, once again, if if this looks like Windows 7 and, it, and if it makes you feel comfortable, chances are you will continue to use this. Okay, let's go through the software as quickly as possible. Click Accessories. Of course, you have your menu, submenu here of the installed accessories in the Ultimate Edition. Click Games. Now, I don't play games on PC. I have messed around with um, Super Tux Card and for some reason I found that kind of retro look cool I guess you can say that graphics uh, if you like to mess with uh, multimedia animation blender is terrific I personally use the GIMP image editor click back go to internet and the one thing that sticks out here is the Zorn web browser manager I will type in my password and you have your choice of four web browser manage managers, starting with Firefox, Chrome, Opera, and Midori. I personally like the first two, although Opera is pretty solid also. Where did we live leave off? Let's go to Office. And the main thing that sticks out here, of course, is the LibreOffice suite. I have not used any of the other uh, pieces of software here except with the possibility of dictionary and document viewer click back again right, let's uh, let's go to sound and video 
a whole list of everything that you could possibly need under the sound and video menu if you are starting off. Let's see, I have used Arista, Transcoder, Audacity, Brazero, uh, Gnome Player I've used, Kazam, but that's what I'm using now. Kden Live Video Editor is probably the standard video editor right now for Linux-based operating system. Movie Player I use, OpenShot I've used somewhat sporadically, Rhythmbox is fine, Sound Recorder is fine, Trans, Baguette and Video Transcorder is fine. And VLC Media Player was good also. I have messed around with Xbox Media Center, but it's just not for me. All right, System Tools. Administration. Oh, let's go to the Software Center, and this is where you will download, probably, <laughs> as if you don't have enough software already in the Ultimate Edition, this is where you will download lots of extra, mostly free software. You can search here in the search bar or go to the left here. Oh, let's try sound and video. And this will give you a list of sound and video pieces of software. You can filter these by name, top rated, newest, first. I will click the X to get out of that. And let's see, where were we? System tools, administration. Again, this is what we saw before. Preferences, broadcast accounts, broadcast preferences, compiz. This is where you can fine tune the eye candy if you so choose to. Or you can just leave it as, as is. It looks fine to me. So, and nothing else really sticks out here offhand. Let me click back. Let's see. Let's take a look at the Zorn uh, look changer. This will change how your desktop looks. You have a choice of Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 2000, Unity, Mac OS X, or GNOME 2. Now the way this works, you would highlight one of these, click it, reboot, or I'm sorry, log out and log in, and it will give you that appropriate look that you choose. As far as Unity goes, that's what I'm using now as the host machine, and it looks something like this as far as Unity. All right, let's get out of that. Where were we? Universal access. Wine. This will help you play at least some of your Windows games somewhat smoothly, although uh, it doesn't always work. I've showed you the software center. Go to places. And your various folders here computer, home folder, and so on and so forth. Click back. You notice that at the bottom there is a search bar similar to um, Windows 7. Let's see, what shall, what shall we search for? Alright, if you click F5 this will get you to the files and you know how this works. So You have other shortcuts here to the right ranging from home folder documents pictures music and so on and so forth you can add to this if you so choose to you can log out I will not cancel and finally the power button shortcut which I will cancel for now all right well this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I believe to be the best Linux operating system if you are a Windows user contemplating a dual boot system just out of curiosity uh, as a replacement or possibly as an alternative to Windows 7. This to me really represents the best of the best that Linux has to, has to offer. The Zorin team has really has come a, a long way in, in a two and a half, I think two and a half short years really coming from nowhere to what it is today. Zorin to me is the best Linux out there if you are a new user to Linux. All right, that's it for my ultimate look at the ultimate edition of the brand new long term support Zorin OS 6 Ultimate Edition. Thank you so much for watching and listening as always. Please share this with your friends, neighbors, dogs, cats, and whoever you see fit.
Don't forget to leave some comments, suggestions, uh, subscribe if you find these tutorials or these videos also useful. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Thank you.